now we can finally reveal this amazing home. So we're here in South Strathfield. It's an obvious suburb where you can see that transition from older established homes, lots of Californian bungalows, into something like you've created here. It's a pretty damn good looking facade, mate. So we've got the Hardy Brush Concrete, which is actually the first house in the country to have that. So we're pretty excited to get that on there. And we've paired it with the Axon. So that's our cliche, we do that on every job and it pairs with everything pretty much. So we've done that in a dark color because we wanted a really minimalist kind of monochrome look. Mm -hmm. So we've got the black, the white together and you can see that carried throughout the house. So yeah, it's come up really good. It's that contrast that works so well. It's a nice white that you've chosen and the dark element, but you've also added a bit of warmth there with some nice timber tones in the, the landing and the front door. Yeah, so on the deck, front door and the stairs, we've chose to use the black bite, which has got a lot of texture and warmth. So it's, it's really warmed up the house. It's got yeah. polished concrete floors throughout as well. So yeah, you've added yeah. some really nice visual elements and texture to the ground as well. Yeah, this is definitely a practical home for a family. You can wash this house down really easy. Good party house. Yeah. The hardy brush concrete cladding on this project has been a massive success. Like I said at the start, we, we've never used this product and it, I knew it looked good in the lab when we sort of went and had a look at it. And I'm so grateful that our clients are like, yep, give it a go if you're you know, happy to use it. We put it on and our clients and the team at Futurefleet were so stoked when they saw it all go together. It paired perfectly with this box modern facade. Look, it's clever because it's obviously been created to create that rendered look, which is yeah. laborious. You're yeah. putting it on top of brick. It's yeah. another trade that's got to come in. This is a board material that can go on top of a masonry or a yeah. timber frame. So yeah. it's really quite a clever product to be able to have this cladding. I love brick, I admit it, yeah. but this is a really clever product that's yeah. so much faster to, to, to use. Yeah, see, the thing for any builder is we want a product that can bend and move and not crack, sure. where bricks can't do that. Sure. So for, for me, I love having a product that has vertical lines that can expand and contract and it doesn't pose a defect. So for me, this is the perfect solution because I'll never have to come back and fix it. This is a way to get a home up pretty quickly as yep. well because you're adding a finished product without having to come back again. That mm. must impact the building time as well. Oh, 100%. Like the, the building schedule for this project was set out for 12 months. That was our sort of contract to build the house. We ended up getting it done in nine months due to using products like this. Upstairs, mate, how many bedrooms we've got? So we've got three upstairs, mm -hmm. but they are incredibly oversized. All the windows, floor to ceiling, we've got tons of light coming in. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got the guests downstairs. The rooms are a great size, but walking down that long hall hallway upstairs into the master suite, that, that could almost be split into two good-sized children's rooms. Like, it's yeah. a big room. Yeah, well, that's the thing. We had a big block of land, and we had so much space to play with, and the clients really wanted a retreat. They wanted a room that they could sit in, watch TV, have a cup of tea. Yeah. They, they wanted a space to get away, so it also acts as a second living. sits well in the streetscape, which is really changing, but there's also lots of established trees. Yep. As I came in through the house, you can see that this is a sloping block to the rear. So yep. it creates quite an interesting space as you come in and go down a set of stairs, and now we're in this middle level and then down again. Mm. It opens up so much opportunity for opening up to natural light and lots of yeah. volume within the home. For a luxury home, it's perfect because you get the entry and then you come down into the living space and you can amplify the height. So you can have massive high ceilings, but keep that top level on one level. Mm -hmm. So you're not having multiple steps through the house. So it works really well because the front entry, garage, you know, study or mud rooms and things like that, you don't need high ceilings. But as you come into a living space kitchen, mm. you really need the high ceilings. And you can see in this house, it's definitely got that. Well, before we come down to this area here, it's almost like coming in with a great entree into main meal and then all of a sudden dessert. 
As we look down here, mate, I just want to walk down and have a look at this because this is a really nice space and then you can see it tears down again to not a bad size backyard and that swimming pool. It looks like a really nice family home, but it's definitely got that sort of high-end resort feel as well. Let's go check it out. Let's have a look. We're down here now in the heart of the home. We've got that beautiful kitchen, dining and lounge, like the volume of space here. It just must be a fantastic space for the family to spend time in. Yeah, I was so happy with this room. The, obviously the cost of doing a ceiling in a space like this is an expense, mm -hmm. but I think it was the best decision we made to just spend it on this room because the feeling you have in here, you just feel so open. Well, it's sometimes that, that conversation you'd have with your clients, I have with my clients about mm. cost versus value. Mm. Of course, any building materials, adding something is an expensive process, but the benefits of this, like it transforms the, mm. something sort of, that could be almost quite ordinary into 100%. a really amazing experience. Your head looks straight up the minute you walk down. One thing that they really wanted was natural light. And by using all this white James Hardy cladding, we've been able to bounce the light into the house, mm. bounce it off the walls. Even our louvers outside are white, yeah. so we can kind of use them as light deflectors and we can send light through every room. So yeah, it's, it's a good result. How do you sort of prepare your clients when you meet them of what they're going to be in for and making sure that they're prepared when they come to see you so you can understand what they're after mm. to achieve their goals? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, to be honest, no one could have prepared any client for what we faced this, this past year with the rain. Yeah. Like the, you know, we had COVID moving into just non-stop rain and to build a house in nine months and to be honest, six months of that was rain. It was a tricky process and, and we were so lucky to have really understanding clients that, that got it. The only problem is it looks so good, then they think, gosh, we like that process so much, let's sell it and do it all over again. Yeah, yeah, you get a bit addicted to it, to be honest. Yeah. Like I've had so many clients that say that, they're like, we love it, but we want to do it again, yeah, yeah, so yeah. let's go again. Mate, it's outstanding yeah. to catch up with you again, to have yeah. a look at another home. This is definitely a high-end home, but it feels warm and welcoming and really like a true family home. It feels nice to be in, and that's the reality. You're, you're building homes for your clients. So thanks so much for having us here today to have a look around. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Yeah, thanks, thanks again, mate. James.